Greetings everybody, welcome back to Gatekeep, episode 2. I'm a saint, I'm a soul. I haven't been doing a whole lot off camera, really just enchanting my stuff. I got a mending book from Rue, and a looting 3 book from also Rue. And then this one I just enchanted on a shovel. Also, I got the shovel first try, this was first try, so I'm getting really lucky with those, that's pretty cool. But as convenient as it would be, I can't rely on my friends for books forever, so I'm gonna have to actually do the dreaded dealing with villagers. Yucky. Feel it in my bones, feel it in my bones. Now it's not actually gonna be too bad, because right over here, if we go past here, and then off over there just a little bit, there's a village really close to my base, that I can just boat the villagers right over to my base, so it's actually not terrible, so I'm just gonna set up a villager breeder at my base, and then from there I can just use rails and whatnot and other infrastructure to move them, so it shouldn't actually be that bad. I will say, one interesting thing that's occurred between episodes, I am rich. You see, I've got 48 diamonds and 5 diamond blocks. The 5 diamond blocks were a gift from Rue. I don't entirely know why, I guess she's just rich. <laughs> and then the 48 diamonds were me just boredly strip mining, and also I did a mining contest with Rue, which I won by the way. So yes, I'm an incredibly wealthy individual. <laughs> there you go, I think I got pretty much all the materials I should need inside of the trunk of my boat. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I'm using the boat chest because it's cool. And because it kind of reminds me of the trunk of a car, which, I don't know, car fun. I'm a saint, I'm a saint, I'm a soul. Forgot to hit record on replay my head again, because of course I did. I'm just built like that. Just top best creator worldwide. But as you can see, if you go down this little trap door, I might decorate it later, might not, I don't know, who cares? And then you can go down here, you can see a villager breeder set up with some harvestable carrots. And you can see we've got the best standard beds there, it goes down here. And then this part is interesting, it's a villager transport tunnel that goes all the way over here. Then it goes up through here. And then the villagers pop out by my wheat farm. I wanted the villagers to be sort of in the farming district, not really district, kind of district, I don't know. I wanted them to be in that area, but I didn't want to have to build the breeder all the way over there and then get villagers to cross this path and do all that stuff because that sucks. So the villager breeders over here and then the villager offspring just get transported to the farming area because I mean that's really what's important is just the offspring being here. So yeah, easy way out. Woohoo! But speaking of villager breeder and stuff, uh, you may have noticed the one thing that was kind of missing down there was uh, villagers. So. I get to do that part now. <laughs> also, you may have noticed this trapdoor right here. If we go down here, you'll see it's just quick access to an amethyst geode and also a cave, I guess. Uh, I don't know. It's convenient. Feel it in my bones, feel it in my toes. Builder number one has been acquired slash kidnapped. However you choose to phrase it, I am just driving this boat terribly. Uh, I, I sequestered a few in a building in that little village back there. So there's two just, well there was two, now there's one. The other one's on my boat. Yeah, there's just a village, you're kind of chilling in that building. I brought glass to make easy boat loading access point thing. To, yeah, making everything as smooth as possible. There we go, they're both in. Let me just F3B. This guy, he hasn't farmerified yet, but it doesn't look like he's been traded with, so I think he should eventually realize that there are better career opportunities for him right here. Uh, if not, I'm hoping this guy can just provide enough carrots for the both of them and it'll be fine. In theory, that's how it should work, right? Uh, yes. I'm just gonna assume everything's gonna be fine. And before I forgot, I've barred off this little area, which is where the villagers come up. So, that way I don't get villagers just running amok over here, and it's all under control. And would you look at that, we got our first baby villager. Now, I did have to go in and replace one of these guys because he just wasn't accepting the the these things and just just decided he wanted to be a fletcher forever so i did have to commit a little bit of murder and replace him and i also had to expand the bed heights by one i don't know which of those or if it was both of those made it so that they could reproduce but something worked and now we have a hamburger outfit child in the system I do need to make these, like, one of these things so that only adults can pass through because I don't really want any kids being able to make it up to here. So we'll have to figure all that out, but yeah. 
Overall, it's looking pretty good. Also, I did decorate this area. Let me show you that. You can see we kind of just got this little area here. It's just kind of a random little house. I don't know. It looks kind of cool. Right here is where the rail... That bamboo is actually not conveniently placed. Hold on. Right here is where a rail is going to go. And then that's going to like push the minecart into here, which will give children woohoo. And it's all going to be great and wonderful. I'm a saint, I'm a saint, I'm a saint. Okay, I finished the adult system, but look, this is kind of crazy. So we've got one baby in the system. We have... I saw more. We've got two baby in the system. Three baby in the system. Adult filter. So that means there's no babies in here. Assuming this works, which it looks like it does. And then up here... What? There was supposed to be an adult up here. Where did he go? Oh, it looks like he's there somehow. I guess maybe he was just so far away that entity rendering didn't work properly? I don't quite know what caused that, but he is there. So everyone's all accounted for. Yay. Yep, the adult filter does appear to be working, although I did have to go in and clear out a little bit of headspace so they could actually not get stuck. But they do appear to be moving around and it is all great. I also added these little slabs here to the part where the babies get transported so that way they don't get caught under here just because I already since I have this dedicated adult sorter I don't really need these systems to passively do it so that way they can kind of get whisked away from the beds and that way they're able to breed more efficiently because the beds aren't being taken up by these guys. I also added this little tinted glass rail so that way you could watch the villagers and I also need to add it over here. Yes I see that but I have this little tinted glass thing, so that way you can kind of watch the villagers go through if you're in this cave, since I already did that with the skelly spawner right there. I figured, you know, might as well. <laughs> Alrighty, I, off camera, I put a little item sorter here for the skelly spawner, so we've got bones and arrows and the random things, and we've got like a trash system, so if you want to keep items in this chest, you can, and if you don't, then you can don't, and then also, I figured out a free cam, I just have to download it from CurseForge if I want the no clip. So you can kind of see how the system works. I couldn't be bothered to put lava, so it's kind of just an item despawn thing, but that's fine. So yeah, that's kind of cool. You can also this is the redstone area. It's really basic redstone, but it's cool. It's very nice. I'm a saint, I'm a soul. Here I have an iron farm that I want to build on the server, because that's the next thing I'm doing since I have villagers and whatnot. It's a design that I stole from a Shulkercraft tutorial world, which was designed by someone else, I forget who. Uh, I just kind of changed the building to make it look prettier, and completely redid the entire storage, so that way it has automatic item sorting and bone meal conversion for the flowers. So yeah, time to build that. I think in terms of placement, I'm going to place it right about here, because that makes sense. So, yeah. Look at that, I got all the materials and I just barely managed to fit them into my inventory. Uh, I really can't wait for the end to open up so we can do shulker boxes. I've also got our schematic set up here, so let's get building. Hi, villagers. Say bye. I'm sick and tired of waiting. I'm sick and tired of waiting by the phone. And as you saw in that replay mod time lapse, we have indeed got a completed storage area. I've already set up all the item filters, so once we actually get the up there module uh, completed, we will have iron and all that good stuff. Woohoo! And also just for aesthetics, I may make a secondary input for the composter there, just so I don't have to have this thing right here, just because it kind of looks a little funky. I don't know, I think that would be cool. Yeah. And there we go, look at that, here if you look real quick, there's an iron man! <laughs> He's burning up inside the little house, you can see the farm has all been put together, I am gonna decorate it a little more so it looks not just like a random floating house, don't worry, uh, this is just kind of it's for now stage, see there's zombies, villagers, it's, it's iron farm, and then they go up here, and then they fall into there, and then they go into the house where there's a lever, and then they go into the storage. It's so cool and so epic, and I'm so pleased with it, and I have iron now. I also made this sort of beanstalk looking thing off camera. 
just to kind of make the thing not be floating randomly. It doesn't interfere with functionality at all, and it actually looks kind of cool, and I may bone meal some of these glow things to make them glow and give light, because light is cool. So yeah, Iron Farm is now official- well actually I need to do a chunk loader, but aside from that, the Iron Farm is now officially finished. Okay, so some good news and some bad news. Good news, I installed a chunk loader, and uh, it, it's been pretty phenomenal for iron rates, so that was cool overnight. The bad news, as you can see in front of me, is I found out the hard way that you actually do need to enclose this pipe over here where they fall because occasionally some of them are able to escape and land on the roof. Now I have just now gone and done some leaves, so now they should be fully contained and 100% land in there, but now I've got to get rid of these guys somehow. Thankfully because they're all the way down here that actually doesn't interfere with the iron farms rates, they're just kind of annoying and I don't want them just all over the place. So uh, yeah, that's cool. 